Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another uh, installment of Dublin Tech Talks New Normal. Joined today by Ronan Odulang, who is uh, VP of Engineering for WorkHuman. Uh, WorkHuman, award-winning um, social recognition and performance management platform. Ronan, thanks for joining us today. Uh, let's first start by asking, how are you getting on uh, with everything that's, that's going on at the moment? Good, David. Good to see you again. It's been an exciting few weeks. Uh, like everybody else, trying to stay safe, stay positive, and uh, fortunate enough on working with a group of people that uh, are helping me to, to, to do that every day. Good. Um, I noticed your, your blog during the week and talking about uh, the importance of culture, uh, purpose-led culture, and culture as a platform. Um, really, really interesting, and, and you know, just thought it'd be really nice to unpack some of that stuff today. Um, and, and, and talk about it. So I guess starting with, you know, could you tell us about the, the culture that you've, you've built with your, uh, your people in, in WorkHuman? Sure, yeah. Culture's really been the, the foundation of our success. Uh, in, in, in the, over the past, the last few weeks, we've seen you know, productivity levels that have even surprised ourselves. Um, and, you know, the, the investment we've made in cultivating a strong culture has has really stood us well and, and has given us resilience. Um, we have um, a high degree of, of openness and uh, trust uh, inbuilt in within, within our team that we have very purposely invested in. Uh, and that's enabled us to have more meaningful conversations, uh, robust conversations, and, and also share when things aren't um, when our, things don't feel right. So um, people have the psychological safety uh, to to uh, to share. Um, we also have th that also builds builds in a resilience and the ability to 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 take risks and not be afraid of things going wrong, uh, which is hugely important in in, in the midst of uh, the the working life that we now find ourselves in. Mm. Like clearly, you've you know put a lot of effort into crafting that culture, and you know it's it's uh, not something you achieve overnight. Have you, have you noticed any? you know, challenges uh, unique to, to the changing circumstances or, you know, did this give you a solid enough platform to be able to, you know, as cleanly as possible or as neatly as possible, you know, given everything that's going on, just to kind of extend that and, and mitigate some of the challenges that people are having now? I, it's very, very different. Um, certainly, we, we are used to working, uh, some of our teams are remote, some teams are, are, are office, but we are, we we favour an office based culture at work human that has just been turned on its head. Yeah. Um, what we're relying on now um, and is serving as well is we've a huge appetite for collaboration at work human right across the business. Uh, it's yeah. it's fueled by you know we're in the recognition business. We we are very uh, power users of our own of our own product. Um, so people uh, know they will recognise we people get recognised for the work they do. Um, so people are more inclined to 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 go outside their comfort zone, to help where needed, um, because they, they know that they're doing that with, with their colleagues will have recognized that that work is, is being done. So as everything has changed for so many of us, that's that's done as well. Um, but like everybody, other company, we're, 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 we're figuring out how to, to operate and not having uh, the same kind of interactions as, as we have or the same ability to collaborate as, as we have. Um, and have have you been pleased with with productivity and and that shift in terms of you know what what the teams have contributed and you know where where you are against where you were you were hoping to be before all this kicked off? Yeah, I, 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 we, we've been we've been surprised by how productive it's been, um, even by our own high standards. Mm. Um, we have, you know, we we we, we our, our business is about helping organisations make work more human. Mm. And uh, we're a very purpose-driven organization uh, that uh, has really stood well to us. When, when now the world has changed, we, we, we lead into that. So, so what, what duty do we have as a business to, to lead and to help our customers lead and to help uh, companies in, uh, lead in, in, in this time and, 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 um, and make their work more human? So we've invested in build, bringing forward accelerating new products uh, we have a new offering around offering gratitude to to healthcare and um, these are things that we weren't planning and um, these are things that uh, or we were we were we certainly weren't uh, planning to to, to 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 deliver them in such a short period of time 
the productivity has been through the roof um, as we've we've swarmed around getting uh, those things done. And, and I don't think we could have done that if we didn't have the foundation of culture that we had. No, I agree. I mean, we've talked many times about the importance of purpose. I think, you know, just people having a clear understanding of, of why they're doing things. And, you know, the, as I think you've said that they're North Star. Um, you know, has, has that been the key factor, do you think, in terms of galvanizing everyone, you know, and, and what is the why of today? How much more different is that from the why you had, you know, two, three months ago? Uh, without, without question. Um, the why that we have today hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. um, that North Star is, is there. It has been there for many years and it will be there for hopefully for many years to come. Um, it, it, what's it's changed is it's just w w we've crystallized our thinking around it and what's needed now. Mm -hmm. So how can we help our customers? Um, we have a video series to help them um, make more work, uh, work, make work more human in this, these times. We've offered our, uh, some of our products uh, free uh, for our customers and to, to any business that wants to use them. Um, all of these things are very much in keeping with making work more human. So mm. we've stayed very true to that. Uh, and that's, I, I think it's really important. Um, sure, we've had to reinvent some of the thinking around our roadmap and how we can do that given the, the, the world is changing, mm. but always staying true to that, that North Star. So before we kind of move, move too far past the, the culture that, that you all have in place there, um, I, you know, culture is unique to each business and, you know, it's not a one size fits all, but to maybe just give some people some, some ideas if they're, you know, having to rethink about what's important to them, you know, today compared to yesterday. What, what are the pillars that, that you've built your, your unique culture on? Uh, from a cultural perspective, um, you know, trust, the foundation of, uh, trust is the foundation for, for any healthy yeah. culture. Um, mm. And trust requires um, investment and vulnerability. Um, we encourage our leaders to be vulnerable. Um, and, you know, that's quite a step, but um, it, it's, it's real, it, as, we, as we practice that vulnerability mm. these days, it's very easy for us. It's just about being honest about what's yeah. going on for us. We're mm. all having good days and bad days. Um, you know, that applies to, to every level of the organization. Um, uh, so that, that, that vulnerability and, and building that trust is, is key because once that's there, then yeah. you know, people can have more open conversations and disagreements and, mm. and, and know that they can get things wrong and still mm. there'll be, they, 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 they'll be, um, there'll be support there for them. Um, so that, that's a foundation that's key. You know, clarity has also been really important. Um, you know, there is uncertainty and it's okay to, to, to share that, you know, we don't have the answers, but, but clarity of decision-making has been central as well. So we aim for something, we go for it. Yeah. Um, because there's so much uncertainty around us uh, that, that, you know, the work environment offers an opportunity where possible to, mm. to, to, to give some clarity. Even if some of those decisions and some of those uh, some of those those things that, that we have to to uh, make a call on aren't mm. uh, aren't what everybody wants, but but clarity is 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 key. It's a really important point, isn't it? I think if you have um, you know if you've got the right culture and and as you say the you know the freedom and and um, flexibility to be vulnerable and and say look I'm not having a great day. I'll make it up tomorrow. But you know, if you if you have the 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 support structures right for people, clearly if they have all the tools and technology they need to be productive, you know, offering people, you know, not an escape, but you know, somewhere to go to be, you know, um, confident and you know, uh, comfortable in the tasks that they have to achieve. That that can be a, a a real solace for people. You know, just to block off some time, get three or four hours solid work done, and. You know, it's a sense of, of safeness and, and normality, I guess, right? Yeah, it, it's, um, there's, a, there's a couple of different ways we, we try and do that. But, you know, once you have that level of trust, you know, you, 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 we, we work with excellent people. We, 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 we operate with clarity and make sure people understand what, their, what the purpose, what the goal is. And then, you know, good people will rise, rise to that challenge and we need to give them the space to do that. And, and you know, there's tremendous flexibility required in, in, the, in the current environment as well. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, it's a combination really of, of giving people the space, but, but yet remaining connected um, 
Mm. And, and what works for one person doesn't necessarily work for, for everybody else. And then as, as a leader, then I guess, you know, flexibility is, is more than, you know, the, the practicalities of working around people's, you know, daily schedule. So, you know, how, how, how have you had to be flexible in terms of what you expect from people? And is there also an element of um, giving yourself some space and being honest enough to say to yourself, look, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get everything I'd like to get done today, but look, this is good enough considering where we are. Yeah, I, 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 I'm at home with my wife, who's also working, and four young daughters, and, um, and, and they need us too, and yeah. while we're both trying to, to work. Mm. Um, you know, we've had to give ourselves a, a, a bit of a break, and, and, you know, we don't need to be superhero parents or superhero workers during this time. There's, there's, there's a strong focus on getting things done at work. Mm -hmm. um but but we also have four little people that depend on us here um and others have have other household members that 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 um are dependent on them be they fathers or pets or uh, or, or, or siblings and and you know we all first of all it comes back again to, to openness and vulnerability we know a lot more about each other's uh family lives now right yeah. across the business than we did uh, mm -hmm. a few weeks ago and that's just made things a bit more normal and you know people are, are used to seeing used to some interruptions they might not always be in mm -hmm. you know it's open people up and that's that's open new potential for us um yeah. and something that we wouldn't have had perhaps to the same extent uh, mm -hmm. had we not found ourselves here so i know that you know through your tool but also as as part of the culture you, you know the re recognition aspect is or um, you know the the social kind of pat on the backs. It's it's you know output based and deadlines based and product based and release based, but also those human events and human interactions. So just to kind of tie into that point that you've just made, do, do you think that you know the you know this is just another opportunity to just deepen those relationships and 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 kind of you know bring everyone closer together and and all the benefits associated with that? Do you maybe want to tell us about? you know, your experience around balancing all of those milestones and making sure the personal stuff is just as important as, as the business stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know how, um, I'm not quite sure how, the, where the balance is. We all have, we're all kind of probably, probably trying to find it. Mm. Um, but what we've seen um, with some of our products uh, that, that celebrate those life events uh, that are outside work, and we have, we've, we have these, We've been practicing this, these, and celebrating these kind of events for for some time now. But you know, even since we uh, since we all started working remotely, that there's been now up to seven, maybe eight babies born, and the outpouring oh, wow. of yeah, uh, the outpouring of um, of, of celebration around that is 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 great to see. Very heartwarming to see. Yeah. You now people have had some people have moved house. Uh, others have um, had sporting achievements or have done volunteer work that has really inspired others and and we get to celebrate that uh, uh, as a business um, and, and it's, it's 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 so important because you know we spend so much time with our colleagues we now see them um, on, on zoom regularly but we know more about them and it, it really mm -hmm. pulls us closer together yeah um so uh, for, for a lot of businesses, step one for the last few weeks was really just getting the infrastructure in place to allow people to, to physically connect, uh, you know, to, to be at a very fundamental level capable of performing the tasks. Now, within the tech industry, most, not all, but a lot of businesses were, were further on, you know, ahead on, 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 on the curve on that one. But, you know, just having the facilities to be able to work is, is really a step one scenario. What what have you found over the last you know month or or five weeks whatever I've, I've lost track now you know in terms of what worked for you for the first few weeks and that initial kind of you know nervous excitement and that dies down there's a bit of a bounce and maybe this week a bit of a dip so what have you learned about how you know we need to kind of continually look at what what's going to work for this week? Yeah, um, our, our journey to to map it out was that that start there was a high degree of enthusiasm and we just we just whatever it is we'll make it work and mm. um, fortunately we had 
an excellent infrastructure in place that enabled us to do it and to, 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 to start working and get up to speed very quickly. Um, and, and that culture that I spoke about earlier is, is giving us that resilience and a can-do attitude and the collaboration. And we just, we'll just, we we'll get through this. Um, and, you know, that's when we brought some of those, those products forward that I was speaking about. And it was a real strength of focus and everybody was on us and it was, it was great. Um, huge productivity. Um, what we saw then, maybe three, four weeks into last week, um, that that productivity and desire was was also joined by by more anxiety and some more stress. Um, yeah. mm. uh, and for some, it was uh, like we we capture the mood, and this is something that we do uh, fairly regularly. Um, was joined by 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 more concerning uh, characteristics, mm. and and ones that we needed to be aware of. So, some that were relating to um, the environment that people were in, their family situations, mm. excuse me, um, or other factors, and, and and we've we've sought to to change things up a little to support people that were having some maybe some more bad days, um, you know, and, and helping our leaders have their antenna up and be tuned in for that to mm. look for levels or drop changes in engagement in, in, in the zoom calls we're all on video um, yeah. and that's a that's a um it's compulsory video but but uh looking out for, for changes in, in in engagement uh levels within meetings mm. um and, and and reaching out to people and and one-to-one -one and, and just checking in on them and yeah. you know I, I observe that you know, I observed that you weren't, you don't feel yourself um, and, and just asking people how they are. Um, you know, my, my own father was sick last week and, and ended up being admitted to hospital. And that was a, a cause of real worry, yeah. concern for myself and, and, and my family. Um, and, and, and some people saw it. They, they saw it and, and, and people reached out to me. Um, fortunately, dad's, dad's at home now and is, is recovering. Um, but you know that that's people up and down the country are, are going through that too, and um, so we need to be more observant, and mm. um, that's what we're trying to to all be a bit more tuned into as as uh, as things change. It can be a delicate balance, right? I mean, if you if you've built the type of you know purpose led, open, vulnerable culture, you you would hope, and not for everyone, but for most people, you know, if you're comfortable in that culture, you're going to be more comfortable to to say how you're how you're feeling. You know, if, if if you've challenges opening up like that, I mean, how how difficult or how far can you probe with people? I mean, you know, clearly as as leaders, I'm sure you'd agree. I would feel I have a responsibility to to people to make sure they're okay, whatever that takes. But you know how um you know with perhaps prior to this type of environment, there was quite a clear line between work and personal. You know, you you have to respect those boundaries. But you know how how far do you think you can go to push somebody to to open up if that's not something they're comfortable doing yeah i, I think you have to judge every situation situation separately i don't think you can push um mm. but you can ask um mm. that what you've observed mm. um if you have that open openness you can give an observation and, and be safe enough that that will be yeah. taken the right way and you can ask a question as simple as how are you yeah um what people uh, people can can choose and, and some do not to not to open up and that's perfectly okay yeah. um you know we have uh, we, we we have introduced some thinking around helping people that are, that are struggling um mm -hmm. to 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 schedule something that gives them energy first of all to reflect on what does give them energy and that's yeah for some that's painting a shed and and that could be the worst thing that anyone would Someone, there are some people I know that, that would avoid painting if we were on lockdown for two years. Yeah. Um, uh, and so for, for some, for tapping in what gives you energy and mm -hmm. go for, going for a walk, doing yoga, taking exercise, whatever it might be, yeah. doing some art. Um, so scheduling yeah, really. that, we're encouraging people to schedule that into their days. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, that, that, that's you know, getting a good response for that, uh, from, from, from that as well. And so finding the right balance um it, it, it's definitely something that has changed over the last few weeks yeah. you know, the, there is a the, there is a there's an increase in, in in anxiety not 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 in everybody and not all the time but 
we, we need to be aware of it and and, yeah. and 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 help people deal with it yeah it's a perfectly natural response right i think as things go on and you know that the, there's that uncertainty is still there i think everyone thought oh this would be an interesting you know couple of weeks and then we'll all be you know back back at it so as, as that blatantly you know looks like it's uh, not the case you know perfectly natural response so you, you've built in the the um scheduling something that gives you energy uh what, what else i think you had three points right that you know you'd like people yeah th there's lots of things that we've done um starting the day off on, on a on a positive note um mm. that's something that we started from day one we we we, we, we introduced huddles and slightly so our, our teams our scrum teams would would tend to naturally have a cycle of meeting um, mm. and they they continue to do that but they've in uh, many of them have introduced second secondary uh, meetings at, throughout the day, or there are different groups that we put together as well, mm -hmm. and they have a huddle, fifteen minute huddle, generally at the start of the day when they might be otherwise commuting. Yeah, it's it, it, it's, it just starts off the day with something a little more lighthearted, um, that's served us well. Um, for our people leaders, uh, we have a. Um, we have a new uh, check-in once a week, midweek, uh, that uh, helps us share information, and that that you know that flow of information is, is something that that people have have drawn strength from. Mm. Uh, our CEO gives a, a an update uh, at the end of the week on a Friday. He has completely embraced Zoom and backgrounds, mm. and generally has two or three different costumes and outfits that he uh -huh. he he he. Uh, he entertains us with the humor has been so important that, that as is well amazing. as that, that, yeah yeah it's so, a key so, point isn't it you gotta like i know laughter is the best medicine bit of a cliche but really you know I, I you know at your you know your not even your lowest moments but your loneliest moments you know your your family may be in the house with you but you know you're you're trying to get stuff done and and you know meet your responsibilities to your colleagues and and and, and the business you work for um and just to see people and see that face. And I mean, the point you made earlier is really well made. We spend so much time with the people that we work with that when you're actually detached from them, it's, it's, it's quite significant, right? So fun is a huge element in terms of pulling people together, right? Yeah, and there's been a lot of innovation around that. I'm sure there's companies up, uh, across the country as well that are, mm. are trying new things and some are running out of ideas, uh, but there, there is so much that we can do. Um, and and I've really enjoyed seeing that innovation come come to life, and seeing new people, some new people that we we wouldn't yeah. have uh, yeah. maybe carried that mantle before, mm. really um, spearheading the the and creating the glue that's that's really helping teams stay together and and enjoy yeah. this, enjoy yeah. this experience as well, because yeah, um, you know that that positivity is is so so important. And, if we're going to be in any way productive and yeah. um, so so it's it's really helping us it's really mm. helping us yeah it's funny i was trying to explain to my eight-year-old just to, you know kind of look there's school work to be done you, you don't worry about it you know you're doing enough there and try and do something creative and have fun and enjoy yourself you need to remember this positively and as i was saying i was like it's a really good mantra like we should all just kind of view it through that yeah. lens and i mean it's you know it's an unprecedented time and clearly there's you know massive uh you know serious human implications and you know you don't want to kind of uh, ever forget that but really just to kind of make the most of the time you mentioned you know distractions there's a lot of hobbies being picked up i'd say uh, guitars dusty guitars being taken down from the attic all over the country but um yeah i think it's you know as we said it's not a one-size-fits-all approach right so people just got to figure out what's what's going to work for them and kind of lean on that yeah absolutely and um you know, I, I have I have laughed a lot with my colleagues over the last month mm. um, in ways that we never we never thought we would. Um, I've seen some of them. It's almost like I feel like I can see their hair growing because I see them so often during the day. Uh, it, it's and and we've we've weathered it together and and mm. we're making the best of it. You know, it's it's been a it's been a, as I say it's been a hugely productive time for. Yeah for our business um, and it's really shown us what we can do when maybe we go back to first principles or we, 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 we throw out the rule book for a while. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's gonna be some really sustainable lessons to be learned uh, from, from that too. And like you mentioned, you know, that as a business, you were determined to do something different and, you know, maybe just deviate a little bit from what you planned and push some stuff through. So not only did you try and get the BAU done, it was taking on extra work. And, you know, you mentioned the innovation culture there is massive. 
what what has been the output of that in terms of you know how you're trying to help people with with the products that you offer so from a from a product development perspective uh, we've taken um uh, two of our, our, our products for life events to celebrate the the babies and the moments that matter outside the workplace and we've made that made that product available free in self-service mode uh, to any company that wants to, to sign up for it along with the this uh, social recognition to, to celebrate and to congratulate and to share in, in achievements um, and, and uh, our applic the second application that we've, we've coupled up with that is is conversations um, mm -hmm. so that that companies again free of charge can can have check-ins and meaningful conversations and set priorities and help them with some productivity tools to get them through this and uh, we're doing that with, for our customers as well now these are tools that help aid connectivity and and, and breed a connection and mm -hmm. and, and a celebration within, within the organization we're, when we have solid financial footing and we have the opportunity to do it, now it's the time for us to lead and that's what we've done. Uh, we're proud of being able to do that and we're having some great conversations with our customers who are, are seeing the benefits of, mm. of it too. And then I guess the other benefit is that, you know, for, for all your teams, that, you know, there's a real sense of, of, uh, of giving and contribution and, and doing their bit to try and make people's lives a bit better. Hugely, um, our customers are come from v varied um, organizations. Uh, I think four of our customers are working on a vaccine to COVID nineteen. Wow. Um, uh, well known companies that the pharma companies that are using our products to to help celebrate those those wins and some of the incredible efforts that are being made to to accelerate uh, the, that that vaccine research. Um, other. Um, other organizations are, are, are adapting um, to create PPE, uh, for example, that businesses that are in the manufacturing space and have nothing to do with healthcare manufacturing. Mm. Um, but they have, uh, they, they, those organizations have, have pivoted and changed to, to support. And, and our products are helping those uh, employees be, be celebrated and, and recognized for the extra efforts they're doing to make that happen. Mm. And we have a huge source of, 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 of pride um, to see that, 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 that our products are, are helping that way. Great. So look, thanks for sharing all this. Um, I guess if, if I was to ask you for your, you know, your top tips for any leaders going through you know, a period of uncertainty here and trying to galvanize their, their teams and keep people you know, together and connected, what, what would that be? Start by being more vulnerable. Um, we're all going through this change uh, together. Start there, get buy in, build that trust, and 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 provide clarity um, uh, where they can um, to what's going on. Great. Well, thanks for sharing, and um, thanks for for checking in. Um, best of luck with the next few weeks and and beyond. Thanks, David. You too. Nice to see you again. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.